this, oh, notice this color, this copper color. It's in celebration of fall. Actually, I didn't even know. It's just, it's just pure coincidence. Anyway, so a lovely fall color to signify the beginning of fall here. So autumn uh, and uh, it's become much cooler and uh, the weather is great and of course there is this buzz in the air because it's also the time of all these festivals you know pujo for the bengalis and rosh hashanah and for the jewish people and there's diwali coming up as well so there is that buzz in the air and it's a great time of the year i don't know it's really nice so uh come and take a look as to what we've been up to over here and uh, hope you like it And guys, as you know from my last video, I've been busy buying saris. Just look at how beautiful this is. Uh, please check out my unboxing video. I mean, just look at the fabric. It's so luxurious. So we've been doing that. And then I also have been hosting people over for tea. And look at the sweets. Huh? You know, we bought some sweets. Our friends brought over some sweets. So we've been just having a great time over tea, enjoying the taste of the season. We have a cover on the pool because you lose a lot of the heat uh, at night time when it cools down. So the cover is on. Uh, it's like a blue plastic bubble wrap kind of a cover. It does a really good job. Here, my daughter got this for her apartment, but I liked it so much I didn't let her take it. And there's a little rabbit sitting at the, at the Buddha's feet. And I want to show you this bench where you can sit under this nice willowy uh, tree. It's called birch. This one's birch with the nice silver trunk. So you sit here and this bench is a beauty. Gift from my parents for our anniversary. They bought it from an orchard over here that has really nice stuff. And it's a California oak. Look at the beautiful work on that. It's California oak. I'm not sure what the material is, but it has copper tones. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can. The sun is gorgeous right now. Um, so it has copper tones and it's been outside in all this, uh, uh, you know, rain and shine facing all the elements, but it still looks great. Fall means we're picking all these fruits and uh, vegetables before, you know, we lose them to winter. Curry leaves for a friend. So in exchange, she's bringing me something. So let's head over to a coffee shop where I'm going to meet her and do the barter trade. So here I am outside the coffee shop waiting for her. And look at these tomatoes. Unlike my tomatoes, which are being devoured by my squirrels and not me, uh, these ones are just growing here and flourishing. And there are pedestrians walking by and no one's even picking it. Wow, it's going to take me some time to get used to this first world abundance. So this looks like a zucchini plant, the one with the big leaves. And here's a basil, uh, but it is flowering. So that's not going to be as fragrant anymore look at this old bicycle for effect and look what we have here a strawberry beautiful looks ripe juicy ready to eat so chatting with my friend inside and this is a beautiful cup of coffee and we paired it with fried brussels sprouts oh my gosh there's such a yummy dish and with some garlic aioli oh it's quite the bomb and guys, this is what I got back in return. Figs and lemons. Look get this lovely fig leaf. Looks so Greek and you know, Mediterranean. We're really blessed here in California where we get um, such good uh, Mediterranean climate, I suppose, if we're getting these kind of fruits. Isn't this lovely? Oh my God, this makes me feel so alive. Figs for breakfast, having it with an Indian style omelet. Really nice sweet figs. This is a dosa, like an uttapam at the bottom. Then there is a mint chutney. I made at home, mint cilantro. And then an egg omelette, Indian style. And I did put a little cheese. 
below that um, just a little bit and some oh I messed up my decoration then I flipped it over okay, what is that ketchup there's something very junky and something very breakfasty and something very comforting in an Indian sort of way uh, about this breakfast of mine so I'm still enjoying my uttapam but I wanted to show you um, the base it's not a typical uttapam because it's oats and mung bean. In one of my videos, maybe it was California part one, I had showed you how to make this. And there's a little bit of buttermilk I used this time. So what it did was it made it a little soft and spongy. So it's, it's a little bit more like bread. Feeling like having a coffee. Um, I love it that, you know, every time you order your Nespresso, um, they will give you complimentary pods. And this time I got, let's see to get it out, here we go. Oh, I, I seem to have crushed it. Anyway, uh, we got um, vanilla eclair, caramel creme brulee. So I'm gonna try this today. Anyway, it's fall, it's pumpkin spice latte time, uh, which I don't get anymore. But anyway, I make my own on this Nespresso machine, which I love. A Nespresso machine is nothing without a frother as far as I am concerned. La, 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 la. Put some cinnamon in it. I don't know. Maybe I'll just taste it as is. Ooh, mm. Mm. Lovely. It's got a really great vanilla flavor. Oh my god, I don't even need sugar. Forget about cinnamon. Mm. That's a good one. That's a good one. So with my coffee, I put, put a little sugar on top just a little bit you know I didn't mix it because I like a little hint of sugar so I'm going back to studying my French so I almost did not go back to French class you know it's fall here and school starting so I was like I was I got cold feet because now I'm in French 3 it's a different matter that I can't speak any French at all um, but in grammar you know they're teaching us a lot of stuff so I didn't go back I was like it's going to be hard. Uh, do I really want to do it? I still can't speak French. Uh, and I got intimidated. So I messaged my teacher, all ready to quit and telling her, you know, I don't think I can do it. She got back to me and she kind of really pumped me up and she said, you can do it. You're smart and this and that. Thank God for that. And even my friend was like, don't worry. If you can do it, no one can do it. So, uh, so I'm so grateful. <laughs> But, you know, these positive people, because I'm like, I need good people around me to encourage me and keep me going. So, so I'm glad they did that because I'm really enjoying it. And I'm actually understanding what's going on. And now I can, you know, feel all like a student and have a little coffee and feel like I deserve it. Almost quit. Pulled out all these tomato plants from over here. Here's another one. Yeah, that's tomato as well. So I suspect it's the squirrels who, who've been picking all my nice tomatoes and then they come and bury it over here for winter apparently. They're hoarding food and then uh, the tomato plants just start to grow. So I'm, I'm st I stake this one. So maybe it'll get some flowers, but, but it's fall, you know, winter's approaching. It's probably not gonna get anything. So, so ridiculous. These, these squirrels are going to be the bane of my existence. I have a trick that I've started using lately, um, you know, to outsmart the squirrels. The minute the tomatoes turn a little bit yellow, like this, maybe even more yellow, but even this will do. So I'm going to pick these and put them inside. So once it gets that pigmentation, uh, it, it will turn red inside. 
So this was yellow, slight yellow when I picked it and now look at it. So that's a trick, a pro tip. I must pick some basil today. It's looking good, make a pesto pasta. There's one there. Oh, this one is flowered already. And there's one here as well. So uh, before I lose them to winter, so I had a beautiful hydrangea plant in here. You may remember it from some of my earlier videos. Gorgeous. And it had started growing and getting beautiful leaves. You know, it's looking really healthy. So I transplanted it over here. Had my gardeners do that. And as usual, my gardeners always wreak havoc on these lovely plants. Look at this. Is there any reason to destroy this leaf? Oh, here we go. Here's another one. You know, it's like a between the gar my gardener and all these squirrels that keep destroying my stuff. I don't know what to do. But anyhow, so yeah, so I'm a little nervous for this plant. Hope, I hope my hydrangea will take root here. So guys, here I am at a Mexican store. I'm trying to look, uh, I'm in search of uh, fish, a special type of fish that my husband loves. And uh, early fall is also the time of his birthday. So... I'm planning a dinner that he is going to enjoy. So I'm going to check over here. The fish is known as Pompano. And let's see if it is displayed over here or not. And there it is. It's this yellow fish in the front. It tastes like a meatier version of an Indian pomfret. And this is quite delicious fried or grilled. It used to be around $2 when I first came to the US. But now it's, you know, doubled, more than doubled in price. And here we have, because it's a Mexican store, I'm going to show you around some, some kind of cactus fruit. I don't know how to use it. There's kiwi fruit next to it and more cactus. And then, of course, lots of avocados and peppers over here. I think this is the only cuisine, probably, other than Indian and Thai cuisine, perhaps, where there is such, such a wide variety of peppers, so many different colors and uh, i'm sure they they vary in hotness what scale is that i forget uh anyhow uh but just look at the colors it's amazing so i also get my indian stuff like green mango very expensive six dollars a pound and then this one goes really well it's the mexican chayote i think it's very watery it goes very well in sambar so i'm gonna pick that up and here is some kovekya, as we call it in Kerala, kundru in Hindi. Uh, and look at this. I don't know what this watermelon is doing here. But below that, that's raw turmeric. So these kind of veggies I can get only here. Shallots and this one, sinkwa in Chinese, torei. Is it snake gourd? And then bitter melon, karela, favorite. So all for that, I have to come to the store here or a Chinese store or an Indian store. Now I'm here at a more mainstream but upscale uh, store because I'm going to pick up some hot lunch from here. Um, so it's going to be a little bit of a treat. Um, I'm going to prepare dinner from scratch but lunch I thought I'll pick it up from here. And it's also close to where I'm going to pick up my husband's birthday cake. No number but a short line. And here are the yummy goodies and all the treats. So I'm going to get a tres leches cake, or the three milk cake, uh, which is his favorite. Walking back to the car, lots of lovely flowers, fall flowers still. good it smells good because it has truffle so i marinated the fish here well in time it's about 4 uh, p.m and it should be you know we'll probably fry it around 8 so that's more than enough time so the fish is coming along well it's frying in coconut oil it's funny how um you know a, a, a meal that's prepared every day without uh, you know much thought in Kerala is a special birthday meal when you, uh, we live in America because 
it's a lot of work to do it here and there's no help so it's interesting how you know your life uh, and what you value changes uh, with uh, given where you are in it's the US Thursday. it's a fancy birthday dinner yes. Take vegetables, take vegetables. And the only way to eat is with your hands, guys. With your hands, you have to have the full sensory experience. You don't get any spittle. <laughs> spittle? Spittle. What is spittle? Because you don't want that coming on the cake, right? <laughs> what is spittle? Mm. <laughs> Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. So we are also doing a, a dinner in the city. So it's the weekend. So for the weekday, we had the um, fish fry, a fancy dinner, and now another fancy dinner uh, at a San Francisco restaurant. So, all ready to go. So guys, I'm looking forward to my daughter visiting this um, this weekend because October 11th that's coming up is um, Columbus Day. So it's a holiday. I think uh, that's a bit controversial here. Um, I think it's now known as Indigenous Day. And, uh, and I think more and more states here are adopting that to, uh, to capture the actual um, history of the country and of its native people. Uh, that aside, I'm looking forward to her coming. So there'll be some good family time and I'm going to be doing a little bit of cooking. So that'll be fun. Actually, as it turned out, I didn't do much cooking, but we ended up going into San Francisco. And this was the best chocolate I've ever chocolate had. With a little pouch and a cookie in there, like a little baby kangaroo. <laughs> That's cute. As we were walking along with a hot chocolate, we came across the street with some lovely art. I don't even know if this is a well-known street. Is this a well-known street? Okay, we just stumbled upon it and there's so much art and there's so much messaging and social justice oriented themes. Uh, very interesting. Wow. These are the people behind bars. Um, it's in honor of the brave men and women in Iran, it says. So they put actual bars and have the painting behind it. Kind of cool. Oh, and this looks like the fires 
Is this for the fires in California? Demand the truth, vote. Interesting. But that says that's Australia. Oh, there are forest fires in Australia. Oh, so I'm guessing this is more for a, from a climate change perspective. This couple sleeping, does that look very realistic? It's almost got a 3D effect yeah. with the quilt and their feet sticking out of the bed. It feels like I'm looking into a room. Looks like a pro-Palestine. One here. Ah, uh, no war. Yeah, from Palestine. I almost feel like the street must be protected and made secure because there's so much good art and so much meaningful stuff going on here. final stop is a Greek restaurant and here we are for the dessert I have to say San Francisco has got such great flavors so this dessert the yogurt I'm telling you guys this tastes like something I'm having in Punjab it tastes like the mango lassi just not a mango lassi sorry regular lassi that has been solidified it's got that rich thick sweet texture to it it's just amazing fun for you to watch and I uh, hope you liked it and uh, do come back and see more of what's happening here in Northern California and I will catch you in the next video. Bye-bye!